The Shanghai Auto Show is happening right now, and this is a really interesting one because we used to make fun of it, mostly because the Chinese automakers would come out with copycat cars that could barely pass safety standards. But things are really turning around, and that's because Chinese automakers are looking to expand outside of the Chinese market. And to do that, they finally have to be legit. So China is the world's biggest car market, so it's really important that automakers have some kind of success there. So a lot of the cars that they debuted here were concepts that we'll never see, but a lot of them are actually production models that will be sold in North America. And that was a really long intro, but here are our picks for the top 10 most interesting cars to debut at the Shanghai Motor Show. The Toyota Fang Chao Fun concept has a weird name, but it is a design study, and it looks like a futuristic interpretation of the new Camry. There are no actual specs, but I really wish the Camry that we got looked this good. The Cherry Tiggo Sport concept might look a little bit like the Toyota CHR, but it's likely to go into production in China. It's interesting though because it has mostly autonomous technology, and drivers can play video games in the steering wheel, which is likely a technology that'll never head to production. British automaker MG hasn't really been the same since it was acquired by China's SAIC, but it's returning to its roots with the e-motion concept. This stylish coupe might be all electric, but it's poised to offer sports car-like performance with a 0 to 62 mile an hour time of less than 4 seconds. The company says it will head to production if feedback is positive in Shanghai, and so far it's been pretty good. Things are getting interesting with Link & Co, an obscure brand spawned by Geely, which also owns Volvo. The company has already unveiled a 01 concept crossover, and now there's a 03 sedan that looks production ready. The automaker plans on selling its vehicles in the US next year. NIO has been making headlines with its record-setting EP9 supercar, but now the Chinese automaker is showing what it can do with a production vehicle. The ES8 is a 7-seater, 3-row SUV. It will also feature battery swapping technology, so a driver can just swap out the battery instead of having to wait around for a charge. The company is currently testing prototypes in the real world, and deliveries are scheduled to begin next year. Possibly previewing a 7-seater SUV for the Chinese market, the Jeep Yuntu concept gives a glimpse at how Jeep might be approaching its future design language. But what makes this concept particularly interesting is that reports suggest it could head to North America wearing a Chrysler badge. This hybrid concept is expected to be based on a stretch Jeep Cherokee, but Chrysler will have to do some major styling changes to separate it from existing Jeep models. The Audi e-tron Sportback concept may look futuristic, but it actually previews a production model that's slated for 2019. Featuring three electric motors, the e-tron Sportback concept boasts 429 horsepower, but also has a boost mode to increase output to 496. Volkswagen is still trying to sweep its massive diesel scandal under the rug by ushering in a new era of electric cars. This is the third ID concept from Volkswagen previewing a crossover that's aiming for 2020 production. Despite its weird name, it'll have around 311 miles of range and the ability to drive autonomously. Mercedes has found a lot of success with its lineup of compact cars and is previewing the next generation offering with the compact A sedan in Shanghai. Although it wasn't confirmed, this swanky little concept is probably a preview of what the next generation CLA will look like. If you ever thought a Chevrolet Camaro crossover would be a good idea, this concept is perfect and is probably the coolest thing to come out of Shanghai this year. The surprisingly stylish FNR X concept features active aerodynamics with shutters in the grille that can open or close to deliver more air or divert it around the front end for increased efficiency. And while we may never see this cool concept head to production, it does preview that Chevrolet is playing around with design language. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe so you catch all of our future auto show coverage.